Hello and welcome to our thought for today, looking at today, uh, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 through to chapter 5 verse 25. I encourage you um, once again to read the, uh, the whole passage, the whole verse, the whole, the whole book, because um, it's quite a short one. Um, you can get it from the parish newsletter. You can get it from the Church of England website or you can get it from the um, free app that you can get on your, your smartphone. And uh, I encourage you to read these, uh, these words. I wonder if you ever look at some of the characters presented in the Bible and you come to the conclusion that they're all so perfect and together and strong and committed and brave that you could never be as good as they are. If that's the case and if that's you then my suggestion is that young Timothy who is the main subject of this letter should remind us that this isn't the case. When we read about Timothy and understand him we discover that he is frail, he's vulnerable, he's immature. As John Stott once said in his commentary on 1 Timothy, a halo would not have fitted comfortably on Timothy's head. For a start, as I said a few moments ago, Timothy is young. And yet Paul tells him not to let anyone look down on him because of his youth. This means, of course, he's, as I've said, fairly inexperienced and very immature. And I wonder how Timothy felt about taking on the responsibility that was about to become his. How did Timothy do? Did he succeed? Well, here we are 2,000 years later, and we're still talking about Timothy. The variable in Timothy's success wasn't his own personal characteristics. In many ways, they were against him. Rather, it was the power of God working in Timothy's life. I wonder if we're ever tempted to think that we're not good enough or wise enough or smart enough or old enough or whatever enough in order to serve God and his purposes in our lives and in our community. Timothy, I think, proves that by the Spirit of God, we can be a great witness and a great help in proclaiming God's kingdom. If only we are aware as to where our true strength comes from. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you will take all of our emotions, all of our faults, all of our feelings, all of our qualities, that you will take everything that makes us who we are and that you will use us for your glory. Lord, build us up by the power of your Holy Spirit and help us to be your followers, helping others to come to know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening and hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye.